Today's wild game recipe on the Big Green Egg is a really a good one because you get to use fish that you may not fry. This is fish chowder. Now I've got two pieces of striper here which I took out of my uh, food saver. I'm using the O'Neill Outside Fish and Seafood Seasoning. And I'll tell you all about that. Do both sides and if you've seen it before you know I like liberal spices. I mean, spices are cheap. Flavor, that's indispensable. Put them on, on the big green egg at 350 degrees. It should only take about six minutes. Internal temperature of the fish at 177 degrees. The big green egg is at 350 and I'll show you the next step. Since you've been gone, I finished cooking the striper and now using the big green egg with a convector, I put on a Dutch oven and I've sauteed carrots, celery, onions, and so on, and they're really clear. It looks good and smells good, too. Now, I'm going to add all the herbs, which is oregano and garlic. You'll get the recipe off the website, I'm sure, some pepper, and just a little bit of Tabasco sauce. This shouldn't be spicy fish, okay? Tomato paste and pureed tomatoes and water makes for quite a quite a dish quite frankly it's for certainly more than one meal then finally the fish that I already cooked the striper I'm going to chunk it up it's good firm fish you can if you're not a fisherman and you're not if you don't have striper already vacuum sealed in your food saver then uh, get some halibut or something like that from the store and because it'll work, the good firm white fish. And now I will stir and I will simmer and cook this at 350 degrees on the egg. You know, it is an oven now because of the convector. And in 35 minutes, we eat. Bring it to a boil and let it simmer for 35 minutes and you'll have great fish chowder. Want the recipe? Go to O'NeillOutside.com, BigGreenEgg.com, recipes. Big Green Egg, the ultimate cooking experience.